This is a lecture from Open Tuition. For the free lecture notes that go with this podcast, please visit opentuition.com. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to start with uh, question 5B. Um, I'm not going to write out the answer to question 5A because uh, I know I can write it. I've got the plan there. The plan is already on the on the screen there. Um, but I must not spend in total more than nine minutes writing that out. I've done the plan actually within the uh, reading time for the exam. <clears throat> so I do actually have nine minutes to write that out. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that to you to do your own uh, extension of that plan. However, I will spend nine minutes now trying to score the remaining five marks in question five. Details relating to construction of Apex New Store. This issued a 10 million loan note. So we've got 10 million. This is 5B. We've got 10 million loan note. And it's uh, 6% interest. And that's on the 1st of April 2009. Uh, the loan is redeemable to premium. The effective interest is 7.5. So actually, I'm not looking at 6. I'm looking at 10 million at 7.5% with the effect from 1st of April 09. Specifically issued rather than generally, so I've got no weighted averaging to to worry about. To finance the building, the new it meets the definition of a qualifying asset. Construction commenced on 1st of May, so that's the effective date on which I can start capitalising. So I'm going to have one month's worth of interest where... I can't capitalise and therefore it must be expensed through statement of income. 1st of May it was started and it was ready for use on the 28th of February uh, 10. So that's May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, which is 10 months. 10 months worth of interest. But... Uh, it was completed and ready for use on 28th of February, but it didn't own for trading till 1st of April 2010, so I've got another month there. So it's a 12-month loan, but only 10 months of that was while it was while work was completing. During the year, training at other stores was below expectation, so it was suspended for two months during July and August. So it's actually 10 months construction minus 2 months of cessation. So that's only 8 months worth to be capitalised. Proceeds of the loan were temporarily invested for the month of April. Ah, look at that. We didn't commence until the 1st of May, so although we invested, we invested in April, earned 40,000, but we were not at that time capitalizing, so it wasn't temporary investment of months, of funds borrowed to capitalize, it was just temporary investment of funds. So, although we earned 40,000 income, that's going to be investment income in the income statement, and is not going to be set off against the eight months worth of interest. Right, so now we can work it out. We've got 10 million at 7.5% for a full year, which is 750,000. But eight months is to be capitalized. And that's 500,000. So 250,000 is going to be finance charges in the income statement, or statement of income. So we've got that to capitalise that on the income statement, and we've also got 40,000 uh, investment income on the income statement. So that's capitalised on the statement of financial position, and that's on the statement of income. So finance costs. Calculate the net borrowing costs that should be capitalised. That's um, that's that 500,000. 
and the finance costs that should be reported in the income statement is 250,000 and separately 40,000 investment. So that would do, I think, for question 5B.